Hello, my name is Dr. Kamran Popal and this is Dr. Sadaf and I'm going to perform an elbow examination today on uh, Dr. Sadaf and demonstrate how it's done. Uh, and after we're done with the examination, I'll explain the special tests that I would have done and I'll also discuss the diagnosis that I came up to. All right. So, hello. Hello. My name is Cameron. I'm one of the junior doctors in the orthopedics department. Uh, Dr. Sadaf, I understand that you had some pain in your elbow, is that correct? Yes. Can you please tell me which elbow it was? It's the right one. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, so, uh, I'm here for the purposes of examination of your elbow. Uh, in the process of examination, I'll be coming close to you and be touching you as well. Please let me know if you feel any pain or discomfort at any point and I'll stop right there. Okay. Alright? So, uh, I'm going to have a quick look. Uh, first at your elbows. Ideally, in, a, in real life, I'd ask the patient to expose him or herself till the shoulder. Um, Alright, so I'm going to have a quick look first. So the shoulders, the elbows and the wrists are at the same level. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for standing in the right position. Uh, I can appreciate that there's no discharge, redness, swelling, scar marks, sinuses, any bony deformity or muscle wasting. I can appreciate that the carrying angle is normal and there's no cubital fullness. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be going behind your back, alright? To have a quick look. There's no discharge, redness, swelling, scar marks, sinuses, bony deformity or muscle wasting. Thank you. Can you please bend your arms for me? Elbows, at the elbows. Like that, yes. Can you please bring them down? Thank you very much. Alright, so the medial epicondyle, the lateral epicondyle and the olecranon fossa are in the right anatomical position. Thank you very much for that. Now I'd be touching your elbows, alright? I can appreciate that there's no localized rise in temperature in my patient. Uh, ideally, I would like to start my examination from the unaffected side, but due to time constraints, I would only perform the examination on the affected side. So I'm going to press gently on your elbow. Please let me know if you feel any pain, all right? Ow. I'm so sorry about that. I'm really sorry. Okay, thank you very much. I can appreciate that my patient has pain on the medial aspect of the elbow. Uh, thank you very much for that. Now what, uh, what I would ask you to do is to copy a couple of movements that I'll be doing. All right, can you please first of all bring your hands up like this? Okay, move them like that. So pronation is normal in my patient. Can you please turn your hands around like that? Oh, I'm so sorry about that. You can relax uh, in that position. Um, so you can see that the supination is limited in uh, the right elbow and also the patient has pain on supination. Thank you very much. Can you please copy my movements now? Can you please move your hands like that? Okay, thank you very much. Don't move your shoulder. If you can relax your shoulder, just move your elbow. All right. Uh, can you please, can you take it, it as far as possible? Take it as far as possible? Okay, thank you very much. We can appreciate that uh, the flexion is limited in the right elbow of our patient. Thank you very much. Can you please extend both your arms like this? Okay, thank you very much. The extension is also limited in the right side of my patient. Okay, thank you very much Dr. Sadaf. Uh, now what I'd be asking you to do is to follow a couple of special tests. Can you please bring your hand forward? Okay. Can you please turn it around? Okay, I'm sorry about that. I know that's painful. Can you please uh, make a fist and cock it up? Okay. I'll be pushing it down. Please resist me. And if you feel any pain, please let me know, alright? So I'm going to push it down now. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. I'm really sorry. So Cousin's test is positive on supination in my patient. Can you please straighten your hand now? All right. I'm going to press down on it. Please let the hand go freely. And if you feel any pain, please let me know. All right. Oh, oh I'm so sorry about that. 
Mill's maneuver is positive on supination in my patient. The patient resists the movement and also has pain. Okay, thank you very much. I now ask you to turn your hand around. Okay, can you make a fist and cock it up? Okay, now I'll be pressing down, doing the same again. Please let me know if you feel any pain, all right? Do you feel any pain? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So the patient has uh, no pain on Cousin's test, so Cousin's test is negative. You please straighten your hand. Please let the hand go when I press it down. And if you have any pain, please let me know, all right? Okay, thank you very much. So this is a normal Mills maneuver. So Mills maneuver is also negative in my patient. Thank you very much. I'll now be feeling quickly at your pulse. Thank you very much. Can you please wiggle your fingers for me? Thank you very much. That's all right. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Okay. So we performed an elbow examination on uh, Dr. Sadaf. Uh, we did the neurovascular bundle in the end, and which is intact. Uh, my diagnosis in this examination was medial epicondylitis. The positive findings that you could see were pain when I palpated the medial aspect of the elbow uh, and then the special tests were positive on supination. So there were two special tests that I did uh, alternatively on both supination and pronation. So on supination, uh, we ask the patient to cock the wrist up like this and we press down on the cocked up wrist. Uh, if the patient has pain and the patient lets the wrist go, uh, then it means that it's a positive Cousins test. And, I'll, and the Cousins test on pronation, we ask the same. So we ask the patient to cock up the wrist and make a fist. We ask the patient to keep it there and tell us if it, uh, and don't let it down and let us know if there's any pain. And then the doctor presses down on the hand and if the patient lets it go and has a lot of pain, then it means it's a positive Cousins test. Uh, if, it, if the patient keeps it there, doesn't let it go, no pain, then it's a negative Cousins test. Similarly, with Mills Maneuver on supination, uh, you've press, uh, you ask the patient to let you know uh, if they have any pain and also ask them to let it go. So they will keep it very loose. Uh, if the patient does not keep it loose, and tightens it up and has pain, then it means it's a positive Mills maneuver. And similarly with the opposite side on pronation, uh, we'll ask the patient to let the hand go and tell us if they have got any pain. If they've got no pain and let the hand lose, then it means it's a negative Mills maneuver. But if they resist it and if they uh, have pain on in that position, then it means that it's a positive Mills maneuver. Uh, so. In this examination, I performed the Cousins test first and then the Mills maneuver, and then Cousins test first and then the Mills maneuver. So I did it like that because on supination, Cousins test and Mills maneuver both are positive in medial epicondylitis, and Cousins test and Mills maneuver will be positive in lateral epicondylitis in the pronated position. I hope this examination video was helpful. And I hope you enjoyed as well. Uh, in this particular uh, case, our plan would be rest, analgesia, refer to the orthopedic uh, surgeons uh, or the orthopedics and they can take care of the rest if they want to do physiotherapy or want to inject any steroid injections or want to operate uh, according to the severity of the condition. Thank you very much.